what up guys we are headed north so uh ryan and i finished up our four 10 hour days yesterday it's monday monday feels like a good day to set out on an adventure i don't know why but it does and uh we're headed north that's about all we know we're headed towards uh shenandoah valley north from there not too sure probably like pennsylvania and ohio but uh it's another four day adventure I really hope that uh, the mic is working for this. So yesterday, so I've got this brand new mic, right? I barely used it. Yesterday, um, I rode to work. I rode to Harley to work. I took my helmet, GoPro, mic, all that crap. And then my lunch break, I went out and uh, actually I rode over to my parents' house. I needed to take my mom some clothes and stuff for my daughters because uh, my uh, saint of a mother is watching my, my daughters for me while going on this adventure. So I rode over there and I was like, man, I need to I need to play with this mic and make sure I know how to use it and everything's gonna work right, you know, before I set out. And I blah, 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 talk, talk, talk to my helmet, get home, no audio. I don't know what the heck. And then I, I played with the mic for the longest time last night in the living room, in the helmet, outside the helmet, whatever. And everything worked fine every single time. I like tried several different settings. And I just, I don't know what happened yesterday. It's kind of got me a little freaked out though, because I'm like, what am I going to do? I'm going to set on these four days and I don't bring a computer with me or anything. So it's like, you know, I just bring a bunch of SD cards. We just hammer down, you know? So what am I going to do this four day trip? and? There's not gonna be zero, you know, there's gonna be zero audio. I don't know, but what are you gonna do? All we can do is try. So hopefully it works. But uh, I'm probably just gonna turn the camera off and the mic off, cause this is, this is Allegheny County. And if you've watched any other of my videos, you've seen me ride in Allegheny County. <laughs> So maybe we'll uh, turn the camera back on and resume the uh, film here, the video, when we're up into Virginia. I think so. I mean, I got some feedback on some of my videos and it was like, so they're not boring, John, but they're boring. <laughs> we need more of your personality. Well, that's why I got the mic. I mean, the audio sucked in the other videos and you know, the feedback was we need more of your personality because, you know, you love riding and it's not that we don't want to watch you ride, but yeah. So, here you go. I'm gonna try to make it a little bit more interesting and talk. I don't know though, who wants to watch a video on YouTube of me rambling? But whatever, man. Here we go, headed north, four day adventure. Same as last time, we're gonna try to, you know, spend as little money as possible we're not eating at restaurants we're, we packed our food and we're gonna primitive camp and we're just gonna ride I mean it's it's all about riding and it's about avoiding highways I can't promise that we're not gonna get on any highways because sometimes it's just unavoidable especially because sometimes you're like and we really need to get from this area to this area and we need to just hurry up and do it because just whatever you know like sometimes the roads uh, you just get in an area where it's like there are no good back roads around here so let's get from point a to point b and you find yourself on a four laner and it just it is what it is but the whole point of this channel yeah there you go maybe i can talk for a minute about what the heck i'm trying to do here bottom line is i don't know what i'm doing but what i would like to do is I mean, I feel like I live in a really beautiful area, a beautiful area that most people that live here take for granted. And it's an awesome place to ride motorcycles. I mean, it's just beautiful and it's amazing. And around home, it's easy for me to avoid highways. Avoid highways, hell, I gotta go find them. I mean, if you, it, the closest, I gotta ride 30 minutes to get to a four lane. Well, yeah, we'll just go with 30 minutes to get to a four laner. There might be one a little bit closer. You head over towards Galax, but whatever. So, I just want to kind of show the world, like, check this out. And 
I have a serious passion, some might call it an addiction, for riding motorcycles. I just love to ride. Bottom line, I am on two wheels every single chance that I get. If it's above like 50 degrees and it's not pouring the rain and I don't have children that I'm responsible for transporting, I am on two wheels. Bottom line, right there. So, you know, when I was at work, maybe a little bit bored or at home trying to go to sleep, I got some vloggers I like to watch, some moto vloggers. You know, I got some people I like to watch. Shay Tree Surgeon, huge inspiration to me. Uh, Blockhead, love your videos. Uh, let's see, Saddle Tramp, man, another cool, really cool dude. Um, and then I was like, dang, I can vlog, you know? Let's do this, let's get some cameras and let's rock and roll, you know? So, I don't know, that's the premise. I don't really know what I'm doing, but I do know that I don't like riding on four laners. I really love exploring back roads and I love riding and I wanted to share it with the world. So there you go. If you like my videos, show me some love. Give me some con comments, some likes, some shares, subscribe, watch some more. Hopefully the videos are getting better. You know, obviously that's the objective here. Let's make the videos better. And that's why we got the mic, because the audio sucked. And I got some feedback that, hey, the writing's cool, but get some of your personality in there. Let's, let's hear your voice more, you know, not just in the motorcycle shed. So, I don't know. It almost feels sacrilegious. This is the first video I've done that I have not started off in the motorcycle shed. It feels a little weird, but it's, a, it's an evolution. It's a process. We're learning. So, let's do this. Let's head north. We'll see you back in a little bit. Whatever, close my visor, you can hear me better. Yeah, I'm still not sure about this mic and the audio. I look back at some of the videos. It's really hard to tell on the GoPro, but it was like earlier in the day, like when we were going slower speed, the audio seemed fine. I don't know if it's because of the speed, but when I looked at the video from where we're going like 60, 65 miles an hour, the audio was nowhere near as good. And I don't know if that's because of the speed or at this point, I just don't know with this mic. <laughs> and I might not really know until we get home from this trip. So we were looking at a map though when we were stopped back there. And uh, you know, we're headed north. We're just a little bit south of Roanoke right now. And uh, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna avoid Roanoke. But headed up towards the Shenandoah Valley. I was like, holy crap, we're going right through Nellysburg, Virginia. Um, Man, I've got an uncle who lives there, and uh, called him up. So we're headed to we're headed to Nellysburg, Virginia. It's like right on the way, splitting the difference between Roanoke and Lynchburg, and going up the Shenandoah Valley. So we're gonna stop, we're gonna see Uncle Greg, say what's up for a few minutes, and we'll probably get back on the road, but. I don't know that we'll make it too much further because then it's going to be, it's uh, probably going to be around 3 o'clock then. So I'd say when we leave his house, we're probably going to have an idea of where we're going to go as far as camping. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe we'll camp out in Uncle Greg's yard. 
That would be kind of a short day though, and I don't know if we want to do that. So, we'll see what happens. I'll be dang though if that doesn't give us a destination. <laughs> we've got a destination now. Oh no folks, we've got a destination. But hey, you know, I couldn't miss it. I couldn't pass it up. I haven't seen the man since Christmas. He was huge in my life as a kid growing up. Turning left, Ryan. I meant to show you guys my new rig back there when we stopped for that break. But I didn't. Um, I got distracted with the whole going to Nelly's Ford. But uh, on my last touring video, you can see I had like a backpack, like a backpacking backpack, and I just kind of had it like ratchet strapped to the back seat and the sissy bar. That's also how we went to the beach, Jesse and I, last summer. That's say right or left. Right. So, which is fine and it worked, but it's like, I don't know, especially when we went to the beach and it was like strapped to the back of the sissy bar, not the passenger seat and the sissy bar. It's just turning right here, bud. The uh, ratchet straps and stuff, I don't know. They're, they're okay, but kind of a pain in the butt. And it's like, it makes you a little nervous, you know, you ratchet strapped onto a freaking motorcycle and, you know, averaging 50 to 60 miles an hour for hundreds of miles, thousand miles, you're just kind of like, ah. when's one of those going to work themselves loose and I'm going to lose this bag or partially lose it and it's going to make me eat shit, <laughs> you know, trip over, we went down, you know, nobody wants that. It was a bad, bad day. So, I'm pretty excited about a new rig I got going on back here. I found this, it's like a army combat rucksack kind of thing, like Vietnam era. I found it in my parents' garage. Uh, it's got like an aluminum frame and uh, did a little modifying with the grinder, the cutoff wheel cut cut like these brackets that were on in the head on the waist belt just cut those off because they were just been way in the way and then uh poke some holes in it poke some holes in the sissy bar and just bolted that some bitch to the sissy bar like no straps no yeah bolts i feel like uh as far as motorcycling and motorcycle luggage is concerned bolting things on is uh a lot better than ratchet strapping uh, <laughs> or bungee cording. I mean, straps and bungees, man, they'll take you a long way, but you're talking about luggage. Yeah, let's get it bolted on there. So anyway, I'm pretty excited about my new like rig back there. We're gonna have to uh, recalibrate here. Wanted us to go north on the parkway, and that's clearly not gonna work out. They can tell this stupid thing to give you an alternate route, yeah. Oh, it already figured it out. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I'm not gonna leave you. I won't leave you. Hey, how close, uh, how close was I when I turned out in front of that car back there, leaving the church? Not that close. Oh. Yeah, I just, I looked in my rearview mirror and I was like, oh shit. So, uh, since that's closed, we're about to, we're about to four lane it a little bit. So, oh well. Our avoiding highway route there didn't work out for us.
Man, the parkway being back closed back there has really messed us up. I'll be real honest with you, I have not the slightest <laughs> where we're going or where we're at. And my GPS hadn't said anything in my earbuds here in a little bit, so uh, I don't know. Whatever. If we see one of these, uh, uh, we're looking for Williamson Road here. I was gonna say if we, shit. Holy. Get your head out of your ass, Jonathan. Act like you've been on a motorcycle before. Run that red light back there. You know, and then I gotta cut that car off to turn right. Jesus. Believe it or not, folks, I have ridden in traffic before. I guess it's been a while since I've done it. I need to get my head out of my ass before I get myself hurt. I was trying to say something real damn witty about them little electric scooters and, oh, how many points would you give me if I'd knock somebody off of them scooters? That's what you get for trying to think of some witty, stupid shit to say when you're trying to ride around a place like Roanoke in some traffic. You run a red light. Damn, I'm lucky I didn't get hurt back there. What an idiot. And I'm thinking, oh man, I'll edit that shit out. You know what, I don't think I will. <laughs> I mean, why edit it out, you know? It happened. We'll throw it in there. You guys can see how stupid I was. I bet Ryan's back there like, holy crap, this guy's gonna get us killed. Just was not paying attention. I know better than that. I'm a better rider than that. That's how you get hurt. That's how you get killed. You gotta pay attention. My bad. Hey, you know, I'm just trying to get myself killed, that's all. <laughs> you know, what an idiot. Edit that part out. <laughs> I'm pretty embarrassed about it, to be honest with you. I can't believe I did that. Ryan says he needs some uh, pan ears for his bike, guys. No know that sounds dirty, right? Ryan says he needs a different bike, something better for touring. He's a uh, he's not a cruiser type of guy. Comment comment below on what type of bike you think Ryan should get for touring. What does Ryan need? Like a sport tour or something? I tell you folks, he's kind of a tightwad, so take it easy on him in the comment section, but let's see what you think. What should he get? 